hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're back with a unboxing. This unboxing comes to us from Mystical Diamond Art. Now, you guys know I've been a big fan of Mystical Diamond Art since she came out. So, uh, there was one image. I had to get my keychain of doom here. Thank you to uh, Tracy. There was one image she had that I really, really wanted, and it's been out of stock for a while. Well, I asked her, was it coming back into stock? She said yes. And I had just been, like, kind of stalking the website, waiting for it to come back in stock. Well, I finally caught it back in stock. So I decided to go ahead and grab it. So there's my invoice. I don't want to pull out my address or anything. So there's a sticker for the canvas, which I would have thought that would have been on the inside of the box. But that's cool. I can put it on the inside. All right. I get the other side of this box open. So how are you guys doing? You guys doing good? Good? Good. All right. So we are into the box. And whoop. now Mystical Diamond Art looks like she has changed a few things. Uh, this is her box now, I guess. Uh, the old box used to say Mystical Diamond Art on them. This one just says DIY Diamond Painting. And then it has the instructions on the side. I do like the little graphic with the butterfly. Sorry, Mr. Draft Draft uh, deciding to try to jump up off onto the box. Apparently, he likes the box too. So it has like the pretty butterflies and what looks like cherry blossoms on the side of it. And then it has your instructions. And it's sealed, which is, I think, something new. I don't think I remember getting a sealed box before. So Mystical Diamond Art is run by a young lady named Amy. Um, she also does have a YouTube channel. She does cross-stitching and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so, like I said, I stalked the website waiting for this image to come back into stock, and then when I saw it, I was like, uh, yes, please. So I went ahead and got it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is called Stormy Sea. This is what the image looks like. Isn't that pretty? I feel like you guys are out of focus. So Stormy Sea is a, I think it's a round. I see she still has the training wheels or the dummy circles. Oh, a diamond came out. Okay, that's... Alright, so there we have that. I'm going to get rid of the box. So we're going to unroll this. Yeah, I'm not sure where the diamond popped out of the box at, but hopefully not a bag of diamonds is busted open. So let's see here. Uh-oh, there's another diamond. I think we got a busted bag. Yeah, I can see the training wheels on here. So, this is a round. It is in baggy, so bonus point there. I'm going to guess number four. Uh, and this is a round as well. It has like a machine smell. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, number four. Okay, so the DMC code numbers are not on the baggies. I noticed there's just the numbers to the legend on the bag. And then on the legend, I'm going to guess it corresponds to each number. So, uh, we have our toolkit, which in the toolkit you get a blue pen, no squishy, no multi-placer, just a blue pen, a plate of wax, and a white drill boat. Yeah, I don't care about that. So, here is my canvas. Uh, this is a 70 by 40 centimeter round. And right at the top here, I think she should make her logo a little bit bigger. Mystical diamond art there. It's kind of hard to read when it's that small. But you do have the legend on two sides. You have the legend over here, and then the legend over here. And then we have our symbols. Uh, you can see the one boat here, and then there's, I think it was like a barrel right here. I'm really hoping it has some detail, because for this size, there should be some good detail in this. Um, I'm a little worried about this part, but I'm gonna guess. I, did, I do notice that she does do a lot of confetti to try to get that detail. So I'm going to I'm going to trust her in the fact that I'm going to get the detail I'm looking for out of this image. Again, this is what the image is supposed to look like. Uh, you can see the barrel and stuff. So we'll have to wait and see until I, I work up this kit. Um, I'm not sure when I'll work up this kit, but just knowing that I have it here for whenever I do want to work on it. That's that's the whole thing. So we're going to get you down into the business. So let's see those R's. Are gonna give me some pause. R's right here. I can tell that they're R's, but like the D, 
This is one of the reasons why when I first did one of the canvases by her, I asked her to uh, omit the training wheels. Because when you have symbols like this with the D, it's hard to see that D. It looks like an O. So I'm really hoping she doesn't have an O on the canvas, which she does. Um, it is white, which is right here. So if we look over here, see the, I don't know if that's a, I think it's a five or an S. Is that a five or an S? Okay, that's going to be a five. The S's are in black. Um, so if nothing else, uh, the symbols, I would say definitely this would be a canvas that if you don't have like nearly perfect eyesight, I would say get a light pad for, um, because this here, they're a little light. They look like S's. They might trip you up, even though the S's are actually in blacks. And I, I know there's some S's over here. Here's an S here. And then if we go over just a little bit, so here's an S here, and then there's the five. So that part right there is what worries me. The C and D, if you're not paying attention, you could mix those up because of how small that symbol has to be to fit inside that dummy circle. Um, also, please don't take offense to the fact that I'm saying dummy circle. I'm not, in fact, calling anyone dummy circles. If you like training wheels or dummy circles, I am not calling you stupid or dumb, it's just the name of the actual uh, thing that is used. Everyone calls it dummy circles. Nobody's intentionally trying to personally attack anyone. Because the last time I did an unboxing, this lady got at me because she thought I was calling her dumb because she likes them. And I'm like, no, you're not dumb. Just saying that's the name of the, the, the thing around it. Either way, so let's call them training wheels. So the training wheels, I am not a big fan of. I never have been a fan of them because it makes the symbols even smaller. It makes them hard to read. So again, uh, if I had any tips, that would be another the, the same tip from last time when I unboxed her. Um, get rid of the dummy circles. I hate the dummy circles. And in these light spots where you have the clouds you're going to pick up those little black lines because those are bold black lines. Those bold black lines are going to show up in like outside of the white. Unless you place your drills absolutely perfect on that training wheel, it's going to show up behind the drills, which is one of the reasons why I try to avoid canvases when I know they have training wheels. Um, but this is one of those canvases that I really, really, really wanted. So I will deal with the, the training wheels on this one. It just probably won't be like next up in queue just because I'm not a big fan of dummy circles. Um, and this kit cost me $32.95, which is actually a pretty good price for something this size. Again, it's a 70 by 40. And we are going to measure that with our keychain of doom. So let's see, are we getting exact size here? We're going to measure glue to glue. It's right at 70 that way. If I remember correctly, her canvases do measure the size. And it's right at 40 that way. So yes, it is true to size, which is a plus. She does have good canvases. I just really, really hate the training wheel. I hate them so much. Um, yeah, we do have a bag of either busted drills or that isn't closed all the way. So I'm going to have to be very careful when trying to get these out of here. And also, something else I've, I've noticed I've never mentioned before... Um, whenever you get canvases that are in baggies like this, um, typically you will not also get extra baggies on the side because the baggies are essentially, are, your, your canvases are already essentially kitted up for you, so they won't then add more baggies to the side because you have the exact number of baggies you need. So I want to point that out there for those folks that are new. So let's see here. Yep, it's number four. Number four wasn't closed and the drills are escaping. So let's grab the two that I threw over this way. Put them back in the bag. All right. Whoa. That's not a good sign. Um, looks like we're going to have some trash in with our three tens. They do look really, really junky. That's like, it literally just popped up at me when I opened the thing. Um, if I don't have good enough drills for the black. This smells like a machine shop. I'm not sure why. I'll have to contact Amy and see what's going on. Um, and there's also loose drills in the bottom of the bag there. Sticker's coming off. So, let's see here. I'm gonna check to make sure we have all of our drills. Again, this can't... Oh, gosh, no. Where are you coming out of? 
I, sorry, I got drills spilling out over here, and I don't know where they're coming from. All right, let me pause you to get my life together here. All right, so I got my life together. I got the drills together. As you can see, they are all here and accounted for. So 1 through 9, 10 through 19, 20 through 28. Um, they are all here. One of the downsides to having your drills and baggies is sometimes the baggies don't get shut all the way. So I had about five baggies that were not shut all the way, which is why drills were starting to pop out of everywhere. Um, so I had to go through and make sure that they're all closed because a couple of them weren't. Um, the drill baggies themselves are dirty. I can feel the dirt like all over my hands. So that's not a big, like that's not a deal breaker or anything, but it's causing me pause because I've never had trouble with one of Amy's kits before. So I'm definitely going to contact her to let her know uh, what the condition of this kit is. It has a, it has this smell of like a machine shop like it's been sitting stale for like it's been sitting for a while um and that's not something i've experienced with amy either so yeah i will be getting in contact with her just to let her know what's going on with this because you know quality control stuff but other than that the drills are all here um i would say they all look good except for ba the bag of 310s the bag of 310s looks really trashy i have very little confidence in this bag of 310s um and it's because of all the static in there that i can see like all the trash staticking to the side i do have a crap ton of 310s that i can use from a different kit if that one doesn't uh have enough good drills in it um because i don't know i don't know where to where they get like these other companies i don't know if you have to wait for them to come from china if you need new drills or what but uh, I've never, I, I've only done one kit from Mystical Diamond Art, like actually completed one kit. And besides the symbol clarity, I didn't really, I don't think I had trouble besides it did have trashy drills. Um, but since then, I've seen quite a few unboxings and it looks like she had some new images come out and stuff like that. And they didn't seem to have any trouble. But uh, this kit, it, it seems like it's been sitting for a while. It just, like, I can literally feel the grit on my hands from the bags. Um, it has a, a really weird, musty oil smell. And believe me, I know the smell of oil. Um, so I'm going to ask her about the kit. Um, the symbols, she gets a 4 out of 5. Some of them are a little, eh, and I don't really, like, I, and these are my opinions. It, it, this is, you know, just me. But I don't like the training wheels and the fact that the bags, Literally, like, I could probably wipe my hand on something and you could probably see all the dust or whatever it is on the bag. It, it's literally taking all the oil out of my hands. So, uh, I'm going to have to contact her and see what she says about this because I've never experienced this with one of Amy's kits before. Usually her kits are really, really good. So, yeah, I'm going to contact her. But, uh, overall, I'm, I'm, I am happy for the kit. I do have all my colors. Um... I do have the schematic on both sides, and of course on this side it tells you the size, has a picture of it, and then of course you have your schematic. I do like the fact that her schematic does show that it has training wheels on it. Um, I was a little taken back by why the sticker was out of the box, because the last time, I remember the last time I got one of these, the sticker was in the box. So, for the fact that it was outside of the box, I don't, I don't know, but again, boom, now it's inside. Either way. Um, but I do give Amy a 4 out of 5 because, you know, it's the, it's the circles, it's the training wheels. I can't, I can't with training wheels. Other than that, everything else seems to be okay. Again, minus the 310s and the, the symbols, everything else seems to be okay. I can deal with the, the bags. I can either switch them out of those bags and put them in different bags or just wipe the bag down. But, uh, not a big deal. Not, not anything to call home and cry to mom about, so... Um, overall, like I said, I give her a 4 out of 5 because I don't do dummy circles and I don't like the fact that they're trash. Like, there's literally so much trash in the tra the 310s that it's, like, clinging to the bag. So, uh, like I said, I will contact her and let her know. Also, that some of the bags were open. They weren't fully closed, so there was drill spilling out. Like, I still have a drill here. They're still coming out of the bag. So, yeah. So, other than that... Everything else seems to be in order. So thank you to Amy over at Dime, Mystical Diamond Art. Um, 
it's always a pleasure going over and seeing what she has. If you are interested in anything from Mystical Diamond Art, go ahead on over to her shop. I will link this. I don't know if I can link this kit, but I will link her website down in the description box below if you'd like to go check her out. I, I would say please do. She does have some license and some public domain images. Um, I haven't known her to have any stolen images or anything like that, so it's one of the secure places that you can shop without having to worry about buying stolen images. So, yeah, again, she gets a 4 out of 5 from Miss Coffee, so go check her out. But with that said, folks, that's it for me. I must get out of here, and I have to say thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me... It's random. But with that said, folks, I really must get out of here and bid you adieu. But not for reminding you, like I always try to. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.